Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you a step by step demo as how you can use RAG with Google's Jabber. When we say RAG, all it means is that if you want to use your own documents with this large language model, then you need to use this methodology of RAG or which stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. Retrieval Augmented Generation is the methodology that enhances models responses by integrating external knowledge retrieved with generative capabilities. So what happens is that for example you have your own document, let's say a PDF document which we will be using in this example and you want to ask questions about that PDF document from this JAMA model. First you need to convert that PDF model into numerical representation which is called as embedding and for that you would need an embedding model. Once you have that embedding model then you need to store those embeddings into a vector store which is a vector database and then from there you can ask questions from LLM by using that vector or numerical, numerical representation as context. So let's see how we can do that locally on our own systems. For this purpose, I'm going to use my own trusted Ubuntu server. Let me take you there. So this is my Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU here with 16 GPU of VRAM. So make sure you have that handy. And I have 32 GPU of RAM. Still it struggles a bit, but gets the work done. And as you can see that I am using 7 billion instruction tuned version of Gemma. Now, if you don't know what Gemma is, I have done various videos over the last one week on Gemma. I'll drop the link in video description too, but you can search for more because there are seven or eight videos I have already done. Gemma is a family of lightweight state-of-the-art open models from Google built from the same research and technology used to create the Gemini models. These are text-to-text -text decoder only large language models available in English with open weights, pre-trained variants and instruction tuned variants. Gemma models are well suited for a variety of text generation tasks including question answering, summarization and reasoning. Their relatively small size makes it possible to deploy them in environments with limited resources such as laptop, desktop or your own cloud infrastructure, democratizing access to the state of the art AI models and helping foster innovation for everyone. Okay, enough theory, now let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is to install some of the prerequisites. Now for that first you need to install the transformers library and don't worry about these commands. I will put these commands in my blog and I will drop the link in video description so that you can try it out yourself. Let me first clear my screen. Then I'm going to install this transformers library that is the latest version. So let's wait for it to finish. That's done. Now let's install PyPDF. PyPDF library is quite important because we are using it to read from and write to the PDF documents. Let's wait for it to come back. That is done. And now in the next one, we need to install our python.environment because I'm going to use that as an environment. And then let's install our llama index because I'm going to use llama index in order to do this rag. That is almost done. Yeah, that's done. Now let's install Gradio because I will also be building a GUI chatbot. We can do the CLI one too, but let's do the Gradio. So Gradio is installed. Let's also install one of the more um, important one which is called as inops let me paste it here now this inops package this provides more flexible and powerful tensor operations for deep learning and then we need to install another one let's wait for this one to finish okay that's done now also let's install the accelerate one accelerate is a library to accelerate training of deep learning models across CPUs, GPUs and TPUs with minimal code changes. That is also done. Awesome. Now let's also install our Llama index integration with Hugging Face. Let's wait for it to finish. And 
then we are going to install the embedding then fast embed that is required because that is what we use for uh, embeddings from llama index and then let's also install the fast embed module yeah, there are a lot of things to be installed as prerequisite but that is fine okay so that is done let me clear my screen now in order to run it you can do it two ways you can either put everything which i'm going to paste here in a python code or dot p file and then run it or you can do it in python interpreter just for the purpose of this demo let me go with the python interpreter first let me enable some of the logging just to see i mean we don't make any errors and if there is any error we'll be able to see it because i'm doing it in real time and then import some of the libraries which we have uh, installed so you can see that hugging face llm settings everything i'm doing it here and now let's specify your local directory where you have put in your pdf file so i believe i have put it in my local in home ubuntu pdfs that is where i have put it in and now let me do the load data one so that it will load all the documents which i have put it in here in the documents variable it says it doesn't exist okay i just made a typo it's not ubuntu it's ubuntu this should work now yeah it is loading it let's wait for it to finish that's done already awesome now let me import the embedding model now that is done and the embedding model i'm using is bg small which is uh, a standard these days for hugging face it's a very very good embedding model it converts your documents into uh, the numerical representation let's do the settings with it and also put the chunk size as 512 chunk size means that this is what document has been divided into N that's done now let's specify our prompt template and now this is a standard one prompt template which i'm using from hugging face and now let's also uh, wrap it for the llama index is again standard which we use with llama index for the prompt which we are using now that is done because we are loading it from hugging face so we need to log into the hugging face so for this what you need to do is to just type from hugging face underscore hub dot hf and import hf folder and then you need to specify your hugging face key now if you don't know how to get the hugging face key let me show you so let me quickly take you to the hugging face page so this is the hugging face page on the top right after logging in with your email for a free account click here then go to settings in the settings if you scroll down on the left there is access token just grab any uh, token from here i just get it with the uh, we are reading it but you can take the right one so just grab any one of them if you don't have it just click on new token and it will give you a new token that's how easy this thing is so i already have my token i'm going to put it here and then i will just close this like this and then press enter so let me put it and clear the screen so i don't want to uh, publish it as i use it quite often i have set my hugging face token and cleared the screen now let's import the torch and let's download the model now if you look at this command what is happening here is that we are using hugging face llm and then we are downloading the model here or in other words first what we are doing we are specifying context window of 8192 which specifies the maximum number of tokens the model can consider from the input at once then max new token is equal to 256 that limits the number of new tokens the model can generate in a single call and then we are specifying some other parameters like temperature do sample false which sets a generation option where temperature controls randomness and do sample decides if sampling is used over greedy decoding then system prompt is a predefined text or instruction to prime the model before generation <coughs> generating responses i have already described query wrapper prompt which is additional context or instruction we provide the model to wrap around input queries so that we could guide its responses then tokenizer we are using is for gemma which is speci specific token for this model and it basically converts text to tokens and then we are specifying our model uh, name which in this case is 7 billion 
instruction tuned one and let's press enter and device map is equal to auto which says that automatically assigns this model to uh, available hardware whether it is gpu cpu for optimized performance and as i am using gpu so it is going to go with the gpu now uh, you already have downloaded this model so it hasn't shown you but if you are running it first time it is uh, going to load it all the shards of it and then it will give you this so make sure it is around i believe 14 15 gig and i could even uh, quickly show you the size you need let's go to model card of hugging face here click on files and if you scroll down a bit you can see that the size is around uh, 5 5 10 12 so around so 12 uh, plus 5 17 so around 17 gig somewhere around that maybe a little bit more and there are four tensors for it so may, make sure you have around 20 to 25 gig available for this model on your system okay now let's go back to our system as we were doing it now we need to s s do the settings and chunk size that is done and now let's convert the documents into numerical representation let's wait should not take too long now it is converting i i have only one document it's a small oracle database related document so shouldn't take too long but if you have multiple documents big documents then longer bigger the document the longer it will take so make sure you have a good system for that if you are deploying it in the production environment okay let's wait for it to come back so eventually it returned took around two minutes and now specify our query engine which we will be using to query this model and now simply define a prediction or inference function which is simply taking the input and then returning the response that is defined and now let's initialize our gradio library gradio so that we could primarily create a chatbot out of it and now cool gradio is i don't have to code any front end it will just generate my, the chatbot for me and you can see that it has started it let's wait for it to come back and you can see this is a public url where you can access the gradio let me open this url in the browser and then show you so once you access that public url you will be presented this screen so you can see all you can do you can chat with your model by using this so i'll just ask a oracle related question what is oracle press enter and then it is taking a bit of a time i can also take you back to the party you can see that as soon as i put the question in it has also put in some of the logging in the terminal let's go back here so because my system is not that beefy so it takes a bit of a time so of course if you have a beefy system or gpu memory and stuff it will be much much better and there are a lot of optimization you can do here but this is just an end-to-end -end process of doing rag or locally with the Gemma model and if you really think about it you can use any model from hugging face by using these commands all you need to do is to replace a model its tokenizer and maybe a few bits here and there and you should be good to go to do a rag with any hugging face open source model cool okay that's it there you go so response is quite good i would say it is saying that the relation data oracle is relational database with object and all that stuff so it pulled out from that document amazing stuff if i just ask it any random question it is not going to answer me um, i'm just going to ask it what is uh, rapid neo then submit here let's wait for it to come back and there you go because my document didn't uh, contain this keyword rabbit new so it was unable to find it so it is not answering it and of course you can change your application so that if Gemma could go some other source and get it from there anyway so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it um, as i said i will put all the commands which i have used in my blog and then i'll put the link to that blog in my video description so that you can get it use it and just try it out so i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel 
and if you're already subscribed do me a favor and share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching